Hi everyone and welcome back. So let's take a look on to another examples. Before that, uh, uh, this was the problem with the import in the previous example. Like obviously that was like we were importing it like React testing library earlier in the earlier versions, but now you have to import it like this and then everything works as expected. Now in this example, we are going to write another component and the test cases for it. It is going to be simple, like uh, not, not complex as uh, we have discussed. This example, it will be a simple component. And what we are going to do is on the button click, things are getting changed and we have to inspect that once the button has been clicked, uh, the, the value has been changed or not. Okay. So what I will do is I will create, uh, this is app.tsx. Okay. This is my component. A simple component what this component contains is uh, a simple counter right and when you click on to this we are changing the values right either we can use this example or a simple example like this okay so what do we have is there is a button when you click on to it uh, we are changing the state initial state changed and and when you are clicking on to the button we are just calling this change name to the parent component because we are doing props to change name and now we are going to write the test case for it okay so what we need to do for this let's uh, first do a cleanup yeah so first of all we need to import our component okay let's say this is the app component from app and we are importing the render fire event and the cleanup cleanup is required when you are actually doing the spy and all these things and you wanted to check if particular method has been called these many times and all then you have to reset these things after each and every test case right so now we can use describe it syntax so let's say it uh, so what is this code looks like this is the app component and when you click on to this button the state of this button should change right so we need to get this button and we need to do a click on to this so we can print the state value so state is initial state right now when you click on to this the initial state should become initial state changed this is what we need to test so we can just do is text in state we changed after button click okay this can be your description about your action and then here we can render this using simple render method we can use and we can render it now this can be a container or you can directly get all these methods like get by text okay and now using get by text we can do a lot of things we can just check so we can use expect get by text and here this provides a lot of different options you can actually pass a, test, a matcher okay and what matcher is the regex expression you can pass and i'm passing initial i'm looking for the text initial if we found the text then text content of it text content of this should be equals to to be initial state okay so i'm just trying to i'm passing one partial character pars partial word and trying to get the text content of that and this should be equal to initial state now we need to get the button right so what we can do is fire event dot click you you need to pass the element name so how we can get the element name get by text and the element name we can get using there is a button having state change button okay if there is a get by text we can do and we can get this button get by text and then this will take care of the clicking on to this right now we can just see this particular should fail now because the text has been changed so we can just assert it expect get by text initial should be initial state changed this should 
show this should be shown like this because the initial state was initial state when you click on to this button and we are using get by test utility what it is doing is you can also pass the matcher expression like this so it will look for the initial text and it will give you the the node and then you can get the text content of that now this is a simple example right but here always make sure that you are doing the you can you are always calling the cleanup after each and you can put a describe it's a it block here get by text similarly there are different methods get by label get by if i just talk about that get by alternate text get by label text so inside a label you see you are putting the the text fields and all we can use a get by label text email or password get by role there is a role attribute we are passing get by test id sometimes in the jsx you are passing the data text test id we can get the element by using test id so let's say if you want to get anything so here you can pass data test id equal to button right so here in this case we can get the element using data test id so in that case this method will be helpful get by test id get by alternate text get by placeholder text all these are helper methods which are going to help us to get that particular node and now you can get the text content we can check that that element is in the document or not get by title get by role get by label text get by alternate text or get by text get by title get by label we are going to use all of these in different different examples this is one of the example we have discussed okay now let's talk take a look on one another example which is kind of similar okay in that example what we are going to do is we are going to write a simple counter and try to see that counter value has been updated or not okay what we can do is we can create another component src counter dot csx actual file and this is a simple component we have i am copying this from the documentation simple react testing library example now you can see we have we are providing data test id so we can use get by test id okay here we can use get by label get by label get by text all these things we can use now let's write the test case for this particular component this is the counter counter so we can say counter dot spec dot psx counter dot spec dot psx okay we'll copy the initial stuff from the existing tests then we will write our component okay now what we are doing is we are saying this when you click on to the button the counter should increase right counter must increase when button clicked okay this is the expectation yes the counter should increase and we are using react testing library so first of all we can get the component and then we can get the destructuring and get all these methods we are using render and we can get the counter component and let's call it as a counter and let's import this here inside render we are going to pass this component okay now what we are going to do is we can get the button using component dot get by text same thing we have done in the previous example get by text and we can see there is a button so we'll get the button element and another is we can use get by test id current count okay there is another label we have you can see inside counter there is a label i think which is current count so we can use get by test id inside a counter spec dot ts 
const current count equal to component dot get by test id get by test id and we already have a test id which is equal to current count okay and now we can just do the assertion expect uh, current count is initialized with zero current count dot text content that should be equal to zero so we can do just to be zero first first assertion then we can just do another is expect document dot title because we have document dot title here that is equal to you clicked zero times right and that should be you clicked document dot title dot to be uh, you click just copy and paste it zero times now we got the button right so we can actually trigger the fire event so we are going to use the same way we have we were doing fire event earlier fire event dot click i think we are correct here fire event dot click and we need to pass the button so we already have button we did a fire event and now we can inspect these two stuff two labels now the values should be different text content should be one and now it should be you clicked one times right expect current count dot text content to be one and this should have been called okay simple test case what we are doing in this test case is we have we rendered this either you can get get by text directly here or you can just do component of get by text component of all the methods are available here you can just do component dot get get by text get by alternate text get by display text get by role get by test id get by text get by title we are using get by test id and get by text okay and that is giving us what we need so we don't need to look for any other helper method okay now we can run the test cases and let's see how it works npm run test Okay, we have to run this in the TypeScript project. npm run test same command. Okay, after this, we are going to take a look on to another example. These are very basics because might be I have already covered all these examples. Now we will take a look on to some form, maybe a uh, form using formic. Okay. And then we will just see how we can submit the data to an API after filling up the form. All these things we are going to take a look. Okay, let's see that in the next video, guys. Thanks, everyone.